Hello, Scott Wittenberg here with Synapse Global Corporation. Today we're going to do another Elastics tutorial. This time we're going to teach you how to set up a basic outgoing trunk in Elastics. So, we're going to assume that you've already logged into Elastics, and the first thing we're going to do is click on the PBX tab. This will take you into your extension area. Uh, you'll see the extension we created in another tutorial here. Uh, now we're going to go over and we're going to click on Trunks. This is going to bring up the Add a Trunk page. You'll see several options here. For this tutorial, we're creating a SIP trunk. So you'll want to click on the Add SIP Trunk button. Uh, now it brings up several settings here. Uh, the first thing you want to do is set an outbound caller ID. So we'll put our name in here and our phone number that we want to show on the outbound caller ID. as easy as that. Um, so now we're going to scroll down. Uh, we need to name our trunk. Um, typically you name your trunk, uh, you know, the name of the provider that you're using so that, uh, you know, when you end up with multiple trunks and you're editing them, it's easy to tell what you're doing. So uh, we're going to use Synapse Global for our trunk. So we're going to type that name in there. Uh, we're going to remove these default peer details and we're going to insert the information that Synapse Global gave us. Whatever provider you're using is going to give you some information to put in the peer details and that's what you'll want to put here if you're not using Synapse Global. Uh, now we're going to scroll down. Um, we're going to delete these incoming settings because this is a tutorial on a outgoing trunk. So now we go down and we press Submit Changes. There you go, you see your trunk over here. Uh, always remember to, play, to press Apply Configuration Changes so that these changes take effect. There you go. Now uh, you can click Log Out because we're done. There you go. We've created a basic outgoing trunk in Elastics.